Sales are past 45,000. It's one of the largest in, uh, for the team in, in a friendly. Thoughts on just playing for them? Well, we're just excited to be in Atlanta, um, not only for our Atlanta girlies here on the team, um, but also to get 45,000 and be playing at Mercedes Benz Stadium, which I think is the first time that we played here. Um, so it's it's been quite a few years since we've played here. And, um, just, yeah, really looking forward to it, especially with Atlanta being a um, good summer they, well, they break ground on that on Monday. What would help y'all at this new training center and facility? What would make the U.S. Women's National Team a better team? Well, I, you know, you look at some of the best teams in the world, um, federations, uh, you know, everyone has the headquarters, and we've always had our offices in Chicago, but a lot of our training, um, you know, sites, our main training sites in LA. And so to have that all together would be, is going to be really important for us to have everyone kind of in the same space um, and just know that we have um, quality grass fields and um, great training facility, locker room, everything that we could possibly need um, in the same space where, you know, we can all go before a major tournament um, and train at any time of the day or night um, is just going to be great for us. So um, I've been looking forward to this for many years on the team and, and when it was announced um, that U.S. soccer would be moving forward with it, I was personally very excited. Alex, what do you remember the, about that match in 2016 at the Georgia Dome? Um, I don't remember much. It's, <laughs> it was quite a while ago, um, which is why just I feel like we're all just really eager to play this game here in Atlanta because it has been so long. Um, since we've been here, and we do have um, some great players uh, who call Atlanta home or have, you know, grown up in Atlanta. So it's um, it's great to, to be back here. We know that the fans are going to come and show up and be loud and give us a lot of energy. We see that with Atlanta United every week. So, um, you know, we want to see that on the women's side as well. And hopefully in the future, you know, week in and week out with hopefully a women's team. If Emily and... Yeah, I I know that Kelly O'Hara was at the um, unveiling of um, Atlanta being future home of U.S. Soccer, um, which was great because she's she's from here, and so just to have um, a lot of players here be able to share the excitement with us. Um, is awesome, but like I said before, like this is so important for us moving forward to have um, everything under one roof, to have um, a space where we can come before major tournaments in the beginning of the year, at the end of the year, um, to have camps and just great grass fields and um, and everything we can possibly need. It's it's really important for this federation. Alex, it's been a little bit since you guys have played Japan. What are the challenges that they present on Saturday for you? Well, Japan is. I mean, plays so well as a team. Um, they've also, I think in the recent years, been really good with their transition. Um, they defend really compact and um, they are very patient. And when they win the ball, they go forward very quickly. Um, and we've seen um, a lot of different ways they've been able to score goals. Um, we used to play them a lot more than we actually have um, in the last couple of years. But they're a quality team that, that will challenge us. And this is going to be a great opportunity for us um, in preparation for the Olympics. Now, I tell you, approach maybe a little bit faster now. Be just one of the older vets now. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I approach it the same way I have approached um, trying to make every roster. It's, uh, it's doing my job on the field every day in training, um, in games, um, continuing to make case for myself as forward. You're often um, judged on the goals that you score um, not only just you know the impact you have um, on the field with your you know passes but mostly the goals that you score so for me it's putting the ball in the back of the net um, being a good veteran and leader um, to a lot of these younger players we have a, a lot of younger players we have 16 year olds and a lot of players um, that are teenagers on this team which is amazing to see a younger trend but um, I have to continue to make a case for myself what is the dynamic like with yeah, I think that this team has always just been welcoming to any player, um, young or older. Um, 
more experienced or inexperienced or experienced. So uh, I think that's what we'll continue to do. And I know that Lily and Ava are so excited to get into their first training session with the team. Um, and yeah, like you saw at the Gold Cup, some players came in um, for their first games or maybe second, third games and were dominant. So I think that's a testament to um, kind of what we create in this environment and just being accepting of everyone. How nice is it to get Mel and Kat in the mix after being out with injuries for so long? Yeah, I'm so excited for Mel and Kat to be here. Um, it's been a long time coming for both of them. So um, to see them doing well, both on the club side and then have the opportunity to get back in here with the team, um, I know it means so much to them and their important pieces to this team. So um, I'm really excited for them to be able to play in this tournament and hopefully lift another trophy. You've been through a lot with this team. How would you up next time? 